The moment is always yes. The mind is always analyzing and trying to say no to the moment. The flower that is unfolding and blooming isn't analyzing, should I bloom, bloom, should I not bloom, bloom. Yield the, the no that's saying, no, I just want to be, this is the way it's supposed to look. That's all control. Yield the no. Just let it open. Let it bloom. And just say yes to the moment. Anytime you think to yourself, and it's all thinking, but anytime you think to yourself, why me? Why does this have to happen to me? Yield the no. Say yes to the moment. And your luggage gets stolen. Instead of saying, why me? Why would this happen to me? Just say, yes. I don't have to understand, but yes, this is perfect. Do you think all things are for a purpose, or do you think all things are used for our good? Like, is did her luggage get stolen for a purpose, or her luggage being stolen, the Lord's going to use it for her good? Not going to, just just is. It just is. It's perfect. We've so those passages of scripture that say that you know the Lord works all things out for the good of those that love Him and are called according to His purpose. This is the idea of that passage of scripture is and what. How, how it's being taught is very manipulative. So it's being taught in such a way that you're always looking for a future. Well, I can, I can just accept what has happened, past tense, because I know that in the future, somehow it's going to work out for my benefit. Well, sure, you can do that, but you're not present in any of it. You can do that, but everything is focused on yesterday and the future. What I'm telling you is yield your know in the moment. When the luggage gets stolen, yield your know. Just go, yes. Yes. This is beautiful. Yes. Yes. When somebody accuses you, falsely accuses you, slanders you, persecutes you, yells at you, screams at you, yield your no. Just yes. Thank you. What would it look like if when the person attacks you and says things, you just went, somebody says, you're an idiot, I hate you. And you just went, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I say yes to this moment. It's perfect. I have to read one more. Based. Don't redefine it. Why redefine it? Why bring definition to something that's undefinable? We're always, the ego's always trying to reform things. We need reformation. We need revolution. No, we don't. We don't need to reform a religious system. We don't need reform. Governmentally, you don't need reform. We need to shut it down. <laughs> we don't need new religious reform. We don't need new government reform. We don't need those things. We don't need revolution. We don't need to go back to the beginning of when the government began or back to the beginning of the religious. Like if we just went back to the early church. No. No, no, no. We don't need any of that. We need to learn for the first time what it looks like to just be here in the perfection of this moment. Perfection is not what you can have. Perfection is not the absence of flaws. Flaws are only in the past. Perfection is not the absence of flaws. Perfection is being present. So when you're present, there's never flaws. The only mistakes that I'm ever aware of are when I'm not present. People are always trying to make me aware of my mistakes. The only mistakes I'm ever aware of are when I'm not present. The only time I've ever felt shame, guilt, condemnation, any sort is when I'm not present.
I feel like I made them feel that way. I'm just going to go back and listen to this. Yes. But you haven't, what I'm saying to you is you haven't made anyone feel any way. They're making themselves feel that way by, by living under the law, by living under the program. They've been programmed to feel shitty. And the only way that they don't is if all things around them line up perfectly, if all my bills are paid, if I have everything I need, if I'm able to really make, if everything lines up perfectly, then I feel okay. But even their idea of okay is literally they've just learned to be comfortable in a prison cell. That's it. I'm saying that there's an ecstasy beyond everything that you felt comfortable in. Well, isn't that that perfection is just based on what they believe anyway? Yes, 100%. Yep. If I do this, I'm perfect. If I behave this way, I'm perfect. The truth is, there, the truth is that is not an idea of perfection. This is the reason why within the world, in society and religious systems, they say no one is perfect while the whole time trying to convince you that you need to work really hard to be perfect. Yeah. There's no one's perfect. We all, we all are just always making mistakes. This is a projection of my past when I wasn't present, judging myself and I'm projecting that into the future. Well, you can just pretty much bank on the fact that I'm gonna to continue to just screw things up. <laughs> the whole time working really hard to not do it. Can you see the madness? Mm -hmm. It's madness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's madness. It really is. Perfection doesn't exist in duality. It only exists in singularity. As long as I see you, you and a me, I'll never see myself as perfect, nor will I see you as perfect. But when I see that we are one, I will see you as always, I will always see you as perfect. No, 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 no. Don't say I want to do that. That's, that's looking to tomorrow. You are the perfect one. Now you're present in that perfection and you will see people as perfect. Don't say I want to do it. E ego says I want to do it. Egos go, ego says I want to do that. Maybe I should do it. And then analyzes it. No, no, no. Don't want to do it. Don't hear what I'm saying and want to do it. Hear what I'm saying and receive it. Yes, it's mine. It's mine. It's yours. It exists within all of you. You're hearing and you're saying, I want to do that because it just resonates with you. And you're like, yes, we're one. Yes, there's a perfection that I see around me. Yes, there is a beauty around me that is amazing. Beauty all around me. Beauty rocks. Pageantry. There's a beauty everywhere. And I want people to desperately see that beauty. That's been your heart. That is your heart, right? And so you're hearing and it resonates and you're saying, yes, I want this. No, don't want it. None of you should want what I'm saying. You are the teaching. I am not bringing you information. I am telling you, everything that I am saying is telling you, this is who you are. You are the thing that you want, Reagan. You are it. You are the perfection. You're not the one that's trying to see perfection. You are the perfection. And so, of course, all is perfect. The reason why to, the, to God, to, to, to the pure, all things are pure, is because there's never been anything else. What other thing is there? And you're taught, don't be innocent because the innocent one gets hurt. No, 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 no. The innocent one's not wise. They're gullible. No, no, no. 
The innocent one is present. Has no narrative. The innocent one has left mother and father. And followed the Christ. Are you hearing me? You are only innocent in this moment. If you look at your yesterday, I promise you will feel law and condemnation and guilt and you will judge yourself. You will always find something in your past worthy of judgment. The past, the ego is, is a taskmaster. Is a, is a, is a, is, is, you were asking earlier, Deborah, where law came from. Ego is the lawgiver. Mm. Always is. So she was asking that, did God give Moses the law on the mountain? And I said, if you are living, if you live in spirit, are you under the law? She says, no. I said, is God spirit? Yes. Then who is the one giving the law? Because if you give law, you also have to, you also have to submit to the law that you have given. You have to live under the law that's been given. That you, if, if you're giving law and you stand as the judge, you are also under the law used in making the judgment. <clears throat> No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Don't, 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 don't go into the reasoning and rationalizing Moses's encounter. I wasn't bringing that up to go into this biblical, rational thought process of did it happen or did it not happen? Was it God? Was it not? What I'm saying is that ego is the lawgiver. Every time ego is the lawgiver. That God is not giving you law. You know why God is not giving you law? Because He's only present. The father has always seen you and been like, my boy. Such a good boy. That's my girl. Such a good girl. Look how beautiful she is. When Adam and Eve felt separated from God and they're hiding, God didn't say, where are you bastards at? <laughs> Where you little bastards at? Assholes. You violated my law. Come out. He didn't say that, did he? Adam, where are you? He knew where he was. He knew that he wasn't present. So you'll only hide when you're not present. You will only hide when you're not present. Shame only exists when you're not present. Adam, where are you? And he said, well... We heard your voice and we hit ourselves. It's hiding from love. He's hiding from the and then he projects everything. Well, we knew you were gonna be mad, and God's going, ah, I'm right here, Adam, what's going on? Why are you running? Why are you hiding? Well, we know you're mad at us. No. Oh, I'm not mad at you, son. But we know that, and we know that you're now. Now I've got it. I'm being punished, and now I'm, I'm, all this self judgment. All right. It's just for me because that hurts. But if it, when you when you said that, it didn't ring true about like God can't give law. And not be under it because I was like, well, I mean, a king can. A king can give law to those in his kingdom and be above it, you know, or an authoritarian, authoritative would. Um, and I just sort of had to sit with that for a second. That okay, so why? So what else am I not seeing? But I really, God wouldn't give law to us and be separate from it because He doesn't see us as separate from Himself. Well, he could only do the dynamic I was originally seeing if there was an us and Him. And him. Yes. Thank you for sharing because I don't see that way. When I talk, I'm talking out of a place of singularity. I don't see any separation. So I'm glad you shared that because that's absolutely true. And if you're seen through a separated lens, like I was trying to tell, like I was telling Kaylee last night, I said, if you're seen through a dualistic lens, you can't hear, you're not going to hear what I'm saying because I'm not speaking from that place. 
So if you're still seeing a God and a you, a you and a him, then you're you're gonna have a hard time hearing. So thank you for sharing that. No. For the first time, you're just letting it be. Yeah. Ego is part of the playground. Play with it. What role do you want to play? If you, if you decided you were going to play a character and you wanted to play Iron Man, today you were going to dress as Iron Man and be the character that is Iron Man. That's egoic. It's just an idea. It's a concept. You're playing it. Now, if you played Iron Man long enough, you eventually believed you were Iron Man. Now it's become a problem. Now it's become your identity. And it went from being something fun and enjoyable. And you're Iron Man and you tried to jump off this hill and fly. Mm -hmm. And you just crash and like, yeah, that's funny. But when it's your identity and you do it, now you're like, I'm a failure. I'm a failure. My suit's not working. <laughs> oh, I'm a failure. <laughs> oh, my Iron Man suit. I gotta come back to I gotta figure out how to do it. That's ego. Play. Play. Play the role. Play the part. It's fun. But if you identify it, I'm telling you to forgive the one that's identifying in it. Forgive it. Let it go. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.